Hey everyone, uh, Robin here again. And for those who haven't met me before, um, I am a scientist. I teach at the college level. And I am vlogging here to help you learn how to be productive at home um, and just to, you know, have a little fun because it helps me um, to get more comfortable with being online and communicating online as I'm going to have to do when classes restart in a couple of weeks in an online fashion. So yesterday one of the tips that I gave you was to do something first thing in the morning that helps you feel accomplished and so for me I like that to be um, something that's fairly similar every day just because I like routine. Um, so with that said, I kind of want to walk you through what a morning routine should look like. Um, the first thing is, you know, there's a real temptation when you're working from home to just like take your laptop and sit in bed and work there. I mean, it's really comfy, but I actually find, and you know, maybe you're different, but I actually find that it sends the wrong message to my brain like bed is where I relax, right? So when I'm sitting there, I'm not really as inclined to start focusing on my work. I frequently find that because I'm in a place where I tend to relax, I tend to do things like, you know, uh, open my iBooks app and start reading for fun, you know, like fiction, um, which is great in its time and place, but not when I'm trying to work. So what I need to do is I need to send myself a signal that yes, I'm gonna get up, and yes, I'm going to get ready for work, you know, even if that work is happening at my house. So I have to get up, um, I have to shower, I have to get dressed, and I have to make sure that I eat breakfast. I don't function very well with low blood sugar. And I know that in the past, um, sometimes I'm just like, well, I'll eat when I feel like it, but there are times when I'm just not productive and I realize, oh, I forgot to eat breakfast. Um, so it's really good to go ahead and just get ready for the day as if you were going to work. Um, I try and think about um, what we're going to have for dinner that night. So if I need to get something out to thaw, then I can do that in advance. Um, and then I do whatever it is um, that I've decided to do. As I said before, what I like to do is I like to go and work in my yard. Um, I cannot do this when I first get up. I have to spend some time like puttering around and getting ready. Um, but that's the first thing that I'm going to cross off my official to-do list for the day. So the reason I do that is because one of my goals is to take care of myself um, physically, mentally, and emotionally. And I find that for me, um, having that connection with nature is really valuable. And so getting out, um, digging in the dirt, uh, working with plants, and those are things that are very healing for me. Um, the second thing is that it also helps me to be physically active. So I am not someone who is athletically inclined and a lot of the way that I work um, physical fitness into my life is just to, you know, force myself to take the long way around at work if possible um, so that I get in more steps than I would if I went the short way or, you know, always taking the stairs instead of the elevator. Um, and, you know, depending on what I'm doing, I know there's some days like if I'm working in a third floor lab and my office is my first floor, sometimes I'll get in, you know, 20 plus flights of stairs. Um, so this is the way I normally um, stay active and when I'm home all the time in a one-story house there are no stairs um, and it's really not a big house so I don't get in a lot of steps either um, but I find that when I do yard work I can get that physical activity that I need um, in a way that also um, helps with my mental and emotional health. That's what I choose to do and I've chosen that because of the way that I'm wired. So each person is going to have their own individual um, thing that really 
helps benefit them physically, emotionally, uh, mentally. And, you know, you get to find out for yourself what that is. It may take some experimentation. So today was a little different. Um, today, I did not go out and work in the yard first. I went into work because I realized I'd left some stuff there that I need to be productive at home. And also, I realized my plants would probably die if I didn't bring them home from my office. Um, so that was my first order of business today. And it was good to do that because, as it turns out, it's really cold outside this morning and probably a little too cold for me to want to be out working. Um, so it was under 40 degrees when I was out this morning. Anyway, I am just now getting ready to go out in the yard and I'll show you around and show you what I'm working on and I'll talk about why I'm working on that. So this is my backyard um, where I've been doing most of my work. It is just barely starting to be spring here in Washington so you can see my plum tree is in full bloom. My cherry tree is just really starting to bud out. It's kind of a late bloomer. Um, and there are my chickens which is my first order of business for the day. So I'm going to go take care. I got this uh, bag of compost mix that I got at the uh, feed store yesterday. I'm hopefully going to be using that today. Um, but I'm going to You can see I've got some vegetable scraps for them, um, some spinach that was starting to go soggy. I'm going to refill their feed and then I'm going to refill their water, which is empty right now. So now that I've uh, taken care of the chickens, uh, let's talk about what's going on over here and what I was working on yesterday and what I'll be doing today. Uh, this is my raised bed. Someday I hope to have a lot of them, um, but... Um, this particular one cost me enough that, you know, I'm going to hold off and just do a lot more uh, in-ground gardening this year. I just don't have the money to make a whole bunch of these. This is a sub-irrigated planter box here. Uh, so you can see there's a little um, pipe here, and I just put the water in there, and there's a reservoir underneath. I have some pictures somewhere I can dig up maybe and show you how I made that. Um, but this box right now has my cool season plants. Um, I went out to the hardware store yesterday uh, to make sure that I got my starts before things closed down too much because I know that they're on lockdown uh, in the Bay Area, as my sister told me. So I've got my cabbage, I've got spinach, and you'll notice I actually use starts. Normally I just start from seed and I did plant some seeds as well. You can't see where they are. Um, but I just wanted to get a little jump start this year because um, I think it would be really good. I don't know how much we'll be able to go out and get fresh uh, veggies in the next few weeks. So I just thought the sooner we can get spinach growing, the better. And so then here I've got some lettuce um, right in this uh, empty area right here. I'm going to be putting some, um, some peas. And so the PVC that you see here, and it's got holes in the side and I run um, twine through that. So I need to go and get my trellising system set up better again. Um, but that's, that's what that's all for. And then here's what I started yesterday. Um, basically I'm digging a new garden bed and you could say, wow, that doesn't look like you dug very much. But the truth of the matter is this soil is so rocky. Um, that digging this much is really hard. So my goal is to do this six shovel widths wide. Um, and so that's going to be like a week. Um, and I'm doing kind of a modified double digging method. Uh, I cannot go deep enough um, because of all the rocks. So I am going to um, double dig down to this about a foot deep here. And then I've got the compost that I showed you earlier that I'm going to mix in with it and the, some, um, some raised bed soil that I got at the hardware store. Um, and that's all going to be uh, mixed in. Um, and that should give me enough depth uh, for planting what I want to plant. So you can see my cat isn't really excited about this trench. <laughs> um, so 
I discovered that, you know, I'm really out of shape. Um, and so, you know, I would love to be able to say I could dig this all in one day, but that really exhausted me. Um, and I'm trying to pace myself because if I get too tired, it's really hard for me to work later. So my goal is to put in just enough labor that I feel um, I've put in some good physical exertion for the day. I've um, got my heart going because I know that if I do that early on, it helps me to focus better. But I also know that if I do too much, it can actually be um, not so good because then I get too tired to focus and I hurt everywhere, <laughs> which was kind of what happened yesterday. I got some stuff done, but not as much as I wanted to. I'm trying to find that good balance. Um, Anyway, um, that's what I do. So your goal for today is to think about what you can do for your morning routine and maybe come up with a list of maybe three or four things um, that you could do to get yourself jump started in the morning. And, you know, try each one of them for a day or two and see how you like them. Um, maybe figure out what works best for you. So I hope you enjoy this little glimpse of my life. Um, I hope that it gives you some ideas about how you can set up a good morning routine. And tomorrow, I think I will talk about um, how I am trying to structure my work life.